What is the value to them of this report? What could they find in the report right. that might help them? Well, two things that it does. One is it uh, shows what por portion of the local tax and fee burden is from sales taxes, what portion is from property taxes, and then you, and then the rest of it is coming from other forms of taxes and other fees. And for some count from for some towns like Holly Springs and Wake County has relied heavily on development fees. Well, they're not going to be able to get those development fees with a, in a down economy. What does that mean for the city? Uh, and taking a look and doing those comparisons with similar counties or similar towns and, uh, and neighboring towns and counties, uh, the, the, average, the taxpayer can take a look at these numbers and say, am I getting my money's worth? I'm paying 4% of my income to income tax in, to, to the local governments. Uh, the, the folks in the next county are paying 3.8%. Am I getting that much more bang for the dollars that I'm spending uh, to justify the fact that they're doing this? That's an interesting idea of kind of comparing the county that you live in with the surrounding counties right. and then deciding is there an appreciable difference mm -hmm. in the services or the quality of life and the level of taxation? Yeah, and, and it's and it's important thing because, you know, while, while Durham and Charlotte are in Mecklenburg are high tax areas, you, know, you can you can probably explain some of that as the services they provide and the in the makeup of the counties and the makeup of the cities and, and who lives there as much as you can uh, as much as you can just whether people want to pay those taxes.